Sometimes, you know, sometimes when I see a game, I just directly forfeit, forfeit when I see stuff like this. But sometimes I just feel this team has nothing, absolutely nothing for Warmadan. So I figured if I want to do something nastier, I should be able to cripple pretty much every lead I have with my Gramble and then just set up Quiver Dance with Warmadan and win. And I say this because this could be kind of funny. I don't necessarily, like when I face a team that doesn't have a fully level team, I try just my best to avoid it. Uh, mainly because I kind of feel uh, it's not what I want to showcase. And also I don't believe the people who goes into these games has no idea what they're doing. So, so I figured I could kind of meet them halfway, right? But with this, you see two Dark Rise, you, you kind of just want to... Um, Wanna slap them silly if there's that's possible. Um, so we get, yeah, that's good, that's good. So we get him paralyzed, which is awesome. Now we switch into Helios, and uh, oh, which draws the dark right? That's not what I wanted. To BBQ BB8, oh. That doesn't have to be bad, though. I can't switch out on it, though. Um, Wormadan is not enjoying this matchup at all, so we're switching to Vanille and uh, I'm gonna trick our Flame Orb here to make sh make short work out of it. The earthquake or Woodhammer or whatever, he goes for an Earthquake. Like, I am floating, buddy. That's, um, that's some crazy plays. Switcheroo. Getting burned, reduce his damage output. Let's see what I can do here. Like I, I wanna see a citrus. Leftovers, nice. He has Giga Drain though, so he has He has enough power to to make my day a bit longer. I do wanna see um, how much an ice beam do to like will I kill him? I, I probably will. I mean Giga Rain did so much. That I'm pretty sure that's something he would consider doing again. I'll U turn on this anyway. I'm just gonna just think, oh, this guy. What a, what a sucker. And I'm, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, I probably would have think so too. Doesn't he know about my power? About my Torterra's infinite power? And I'll say, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, Gearing will do. Absolute mad lad. He does really a lot of damage. Um, like I said, his, his Stone Edge is not, won't hurt me that much either. And I should be able to set up a Quiver Dance. And I do believe I only need like two. He does decide to stay in, which is good for me. I don't need to expect some type of hidden power fires. Right? Go for Giga Drain. Crunch. That won't work, buddy. That won't work. You're burned. Burn to a crisp. <laughs> the struggles of the Torterra. Who draws BB-8? Rage. Goes into Ivysaur. What, you wanna motherfucking die? <laughs> Let's see, the question is, is double the speed enough? I don't wanna risk myself, um getting uh, asleep by this scenario. I just I want to completely avoid it if possible, so we get him out of the way. This guy's gonna learn the hard way. Well, first and foremost, he probably has no idea what he fought. Charmeleon. Dude. I don't want to get myself into Sucker Punch range, right? That's, that's not how I want to play this game. Oh, fuck. Should I consider that? Can I take a Sucker Punch from Darkrai from this range? I am in the probably not range. Rhydon. Oh, thank God. I was like just about to say, like, I am absolutely losing if I don't get any recovery. So, thank you. <laughs> Look, I, I'm not, I'm not taking, um, 
a joy in being a noob buster, but at the same time, so sometimes you just gotta show them. Legendaries aren't everything, but there are a lot of it. Oh, here is the uncrippled Darkrai. Let's see how, how these fresh legs are working. And if I would speed, which I don't believe I can or could do. He need a hypnosis badly. Oh, come on! <laughs> Sucker. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this Warbadan sweep. Um, <coughs> it worked. <laughs> anyway, take care, right?